Hi, I'm David Salmon, Chief Horticulturist here at High Country Gardens. And I want to share with you our seed propagation process. So this seed's been sitting in the bag here for a couple of months. The, uh, the stems have dried down. Good viable seeds are always fairly heavy, so it falls to the bottom of the bag. Good, I've got raw seed here. So the final thing we're going to do is basically called combing the seed. And it's using gravity to help us separate the heavy seed from the lighter chaff. Okay, well we've got a nice envelope of the salvia penstemonoides seed. So the next thing we do is make sure that we get it into inventory and store it properly. Now this is the actual seeding process and Inga is sowing some Onothera macrocarpa, some evening primrose seed. And once the seed is sown, Inga will cover the seeds lightly with a top dressing of pure perlite, thin enough so that the light can get through to stimulate germination, but thick enough to hold the moisture so that the seeds germinate adequately. So Inga will take it to the germination bench, water it in, and then within uh, about a week to 10 days, we'll start to see some seed germinating. About six weeks later, the germinated seeds are ready for transplanting. As the final part of the plant development process for this seed-grown lavender, I will pick probably a half dozen of the very best plants that uh, show some striking difference, perhaps flower color or size. I'm actually evaluating this particular group for um, their uh, small size and hopefully come up with a, a dwarf or a particularly compact variety. So I'll take probably six of the best plants after they bloom, take it out into one of our test gardens, our high country garden test gardens, plant it in the ground and evaluate it for at least a season, probably two years. And then hopefully there will be a standout plant from the, the half dozen that we take from this batch of about 70 and find that one particularly superior individual which we will then propagate from cuttings and then in future years have a new named cultivar of uh, hopefully a compact, uh, deep colored lavender.